This is the entry to the Wright Gallery where the show Flood was uh, on exhibition from August 24th through October 19th, um, 2015. And uh, this is what you see when you walk in. They were kind enough to put my signature at the base. And you see right away, it's Mary Chani, my maiden name, which is my art name, Flood, and then River, Village, City, Storm, Deluge, because there really are five parts to the exhibition that carry a narrative from First Rivers to Future Deluge. So these are the river drawings. Down at the base you can see the word river. And out of all my river drawings, I chose four. And these were all done 11 by 14, but I blew them up and printed them on a wonderful printer because two reasons. I, this is not a protected gallery. I was afraid they'd walk out the door. And there's so much detail, I wanted that to be visible. So on the left is clouds over the Brazos, and then three rivers, etc., and tributaries, and dancers. And the first one I did in Texas, because the Brazos River is the one I cross all the time. And the last one I did in Maine, where uh, you can see the pine trees of Maine in the background. And I was a little lonely, and I made up these outrageous cacti and uh, the boats are sailing down the map. And the next four are the same size as river, and this is when the villages are built along the rivers, or the oceans, and uh, they're we are in harmony with nature, in harmony with the water. And the first one is village I did when I was visiting Cynthia in her eco-village near Belfast, Maine. Otherwise, that would never have been drawn. The second one was when Ariel, who's now three, was learning her alphabet. So it's all alphabet uh, houses. And the third is somewhat reflective of Suzanne's cliff and her beach and that's the observer on the beach and I think of that as um, a self-portrait in a sense. I'm both the artist, me, any artist. We are the ones who sit and watch and also we're the rowboats. We're the ones who act. And the last one I just made it up. This is city, the third part. Uh, the structures are getting enormous. I really was deeply inspired first by being in Berkeley and looking out across to San Francisco and seeing the city rising like white towers above the fog. That was a moment for me. That was the beginning of this whole collection. That was in the spring of 2013. And only later, later did I realize it was a response to the drought of 2011, which had burned houses, more than a thousand houses nearby in Bastrop, Texas. And I lost three major trees on my land during that drought. At any rate, two years later, I'm looking out at this view, and I think towers, cities, rivers, villages, Water in the middle, I think I will draw water. I will draw abundant water. So this is city. Um, there are no cars. People walk or they have rowboats. And uh, they build towers and, that are connected. 
and the one in the bottom center is influenced by my environment here. Um, there are very few fantasy cities that actually have a football stadium. So that was the happy room. Now you're in the dangerous room of storm, which if you think about it is the period we're in now. Um, after I did all these drawings, I'd show them to friends and they would be a happy one and a sad one. It was very confusing. So I took them home and I shuffled them like storyboard sketches as my animation students did. and. I found this part after river, village, and city. I found the destruction of flood um, and storm, and then later the future deluge. And only after I did this and I made a book and then made a show from the book, only later did I realize that this was really about global warming and uh, that it was the CO2 that went into the ocean that raised the temperature of the ocean that actually influenced the number of category four and five storms. So um, I decided to exhibit this as if it was an artist's um, studio with other drawings by other artists and little bits of newspaper that would tell you something. I hadn't known all this before I did it, so it's some sort of artifice, I guess, but. I wanted people to know the context. So storm continues over on these black walls and there are more drawings of storm, flooding of the right bank, fat city, progress, rising waters, falling waters. And a friend of mine liked the one that's called sinking because it looks like it's saying sinking Chani, you know. Um, and there's one called ghost houses, that's all the houses I've lived in. My sisters will recognize some of them. Um, and then I just put other, up other items. I made kind of collages. These strips of vellum are uh, collages created in Photoshop from details of the work. And at the top is the storm, in the middle the content houses, and the bottom is the, uh, is the flood in all of these. And I just I just felt like doing that, so I did it. And this is Final Deluge. All of these drawings, all six of them, were done the same size as the others, 11 by 14. But I blew them up to 40 by 50. I scanned them at a high res, converted them in Photoshop to a negative of what they were before, so the white is black and the black is white. They're inverted. And then I had them printed on a wonderful printer that printed dense velvety blacks. Uh, I didn't just invert them, I had to play with them for a long time to get them to work once they were inverted. But uh, so I started with just all these little drawings. Every day I sat down, had a cup of coffee and drew just whatever showed up that day and I thought of them as just, you know, not big paintings but just little drawings and here I found myself making a huge mural. I didn't expect anything like this, 
but as we were creating the show, I figured this out. And um, so it's 10 feet by almost 8 feet, 12 feet by almost 8 feet. So um, there it is. I think it's wonderful. I grew up on Quincy Harbor, and this is Safe Harbor, and you can see the little rowboats trying to make it into the harbor in the lower left, and a lot of them aren't going to make it. Water Rising was based on a film I saw about Yellow Mountain, the Yellow Mountain area in southern China, and I just converted all the fog into water and just imagine a horrible deluge of that beautiful area. And this is a kind of coda. It's six tree drawings. And these are all the happy ones, the self-contained ones. I really do love them. This is the world we think we live in, hope we live in. This is the world I fear with hurricane and winds blowing and trees burning. 